out of this uh, IDA 21 uh, 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 heads of state, we expected to come up with a Nairobi declaration. Yes. How are we going to ensure that the aspirations of Nairobi declaration are captured in uh, the replacement meeting in December in Washington? Um, the most important, this is now, we have a champion. His Excellency President uh, William Ruto accepted to be a champion of IDA 21. Mm -hmm. The champion, being a champion means we are now going to state the context of the issues and then after that you hit the ground running. Because essentially the ministers have provided their communicate. The champion is now going to provide all the details. Then it means that from today everybody now starts working. There is a roadmap to all that. Mm -hmm. So the most important thing is you started by asking why we have even brought the, the, the civil society is because now we are, starting, we are starting that collective action read by the champion. And the champion will define the, uh, the, uh, the, the parameters. First of all, is what, has the, what are the priorities in Africa? Second, what are the steps? So we are going to move in those steps so that the communication will be clear and the context in African setting will be clear We'll go to other developing regions. The other developing regions will look at the, also the, 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 this is going to be shared across. Mm -hmm. You will find that priority, priorities that these developing countries are facing, are, would, would like to implement their priorities, is going to be the driving force. Very good. Which means that this is like a corrective action, but we know our priorities. If we know our priorities, we know how we prioritize those to actually create the momentum and the change we want. And then the other thing is that, of course, there are some people, that's why I went back to institutions. It is not just resources. It is also the art of reorganizing our institutions.